Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my everyday makeup basket for June of 2019. Summer is here. God, it is so hot. <laughs> uh, um, I just recently did my May makeup basket a little bit late. If you missed that, I'll throw the whole playlist of all of my makeup baskets up in the cards if you'd like to binge watch a bit. So not a whole lot has changed in here, especially the eye products. I think I might skip this because it's almost exactly the same except for like one eyeliner I switched out. But for foundations and for powders, I did switch those up. So let's go ahead and jump first into, let's do powders. There's only like two or three in here. My first powder is this hourglass powder that I've been panning for quite some time. It's, yeah, it's almost done. It's almost done. I'm hoping to have this finished up before I tan, if I tan. I have no idea if I'm going to go anywhere this summer. But I know if I go outside longer than it takes me to walk to the train station, I tan at the drop of a hat. <laughs> so I'm hoping I'll get a little bit of tan this summer. But I'm trying to finish this up before it's too light for me. Next, I'm bringing in a very summer highlighter. This is from Jeffree Star, and this is the highlighter in a summer snow cone. It looks really dark in the pan, but I did put it on today. And when you apply it with a brush, it's actually like really light, and someone of my complexion can wear it. I think you can build it up, like if you put it on with your finger, or maybe with a sponge, you can build it up to be darker, but it does apply a lot lighter than in the pan. So I do want to get some use out of this this summer, especially since I never reach for like these full-size highlighters. Of course, down here, this last drawer down here is just my Pan That Palette, not Pan That Palette, excuse me, my Project Pan, that's the Harry Potter Project Pan, and then just the face powder that I'm trying to pan, this is the Cody Air Spun. there's so much product in here, but I am a good halfway through it, I've been using this every day to set my under eye and to set the rest of my face, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get through this soon, but it's a lot of product. <laughs> Let's move on next to foundations. First off, gotta have my white mixer because what would I do without this? This is the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment, just in white. Next, I brought out an older foundation I had in my collection. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is for normal to dry skin, and this is in the shade 122 Creamy Beige. I definitely picked this up before I really understood to look for undertones because this, this is a very cool undertone. Uh, so it doesn't look the best on me, but it is like halfway done and I do like the formula on this. So I've been trying to mix in a white mixer and also uh, my golden drops from Cover FX just to make this work for me. Uh, but it, it does work. It is very matte. It does look nice throughout a day and I just want to get some use out of it. I got to pull out all of my matte products now. Speaking of matte products, I brought out one of my Holy Grail products that I actually just repurchased. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, and this time I actually picked up the shade Shortbread, which is almost perfect for me. It does oxidize just a tiny bit, so I do use a little bit of a white mixer with this, but this got me through last summer. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. It is a good medium coverage that I can bold up, bold up that I can build up to full coverage. It's just everything I need out of a foundation in the summer. <laughs> so I had to rebuy this. It's here. <laughs> and I love the packaging on this. It is a tube with a pump. So the last time I had this, I did cut, it, cut this open and scrape every last little bit out of it. And I'm assuming I'll do the same thing this summer. Last but not least, I'm bringing out this duo that I actually talked about last, oh, it's almost two years ago now, oh my god, in one of my first videos ever. The quality is kind of bad, but I'll link it if you want to check out an early video of mine. This is the Dermacult Makeup Cover and the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I did just rebuy this in the shade 705, and surprise, surprise, it's still too dark for me. I didn't realize that this shade actually does oxidize. Uh, so even though 705, it looks good when I first apply it, it does get darker by the time like I put my powder on. So I do have to use a, a white mixer with that still, but I really wanted to redo that video of mine, the earlier one where I mix these two and talk about how great of a summer foundation it makes. I really want to remake that and, you know, reflect a little bit on that video. So that's why I brought these in. I absolutely love the CoverGirl on its own. It's a great foundation, especially for the summer. I haven't been going for super full coverage looks, so I haven't been using Dermacol a whole lot. I've had this for over a year and I've only used about this much of the tube. <laughs> but I want to bring it back in and see if I like the combo as much as I did when I first made 
need the video. Let's go into the eye drawer just because really a whole lot has not happened here. Basically, I kept everything the same in this drawer except for these two products. I'm bringing in this Pixie Crayon Combo for eyeliner. There is a nude and then a white shade in here that I would like to use in my waterline. And then I picked up the new formulation of the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. They did repackage and reformulate the Mega Length and I really liked the original for my lower lash line, but I haven't tried this one yet. So I picked it up at CVS. I'm gonna test it out and see how much it's really changed. Over to my testing drawer. I'm still keeping all of my Physicians Formulas minis in here because I'm still testing them out. I actually thought it would be really cute to depot them and make like a mini face palette, but I tried depotting the blush and it didn't go great, so I stopped, <laughs> stopped trying. Um, but I'm still testing the products out, and I also have some products from Juvia's Place in here. First, I have the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation, and I have the shade Capri, which is 630, I believe is the number. Today is actually my first day wearing this for a full day, so I don't have thoughts on this yet, but the application was a bit rough. This oxidizes like crazy, like a good shade and a half darker. So while the original shade could have worked for me, by the time I finished applying it, it was a shade and a half, almost two shades darker. So keep that in mind. It was really hard to find good swatches of these and like oh, it was difficult finding my shade in the first place. So I'll talk more about that when I do my full video on this because I do want to do a full video wear test on this and the concealer, but I want to test it out a little bit first so that video isn't like a first impression. Speaking of the concealer, I also have the concealer here and I have the shade 22. This is actually a really good concealer shade for me. I used this today to help lighten up the foundation because I was not expecting it to oxidize that much. I've been testing out this foundation for a few times, or foundation, I've been testing out this concealer for a few times already and I actually really like it so far. It just, the one thing I found is you cannot bake with this, at least I cannot bake with this because it will turn like really crepey and like look really weird under my eyes but if I set it with a loose powder and then like wait 30 seconds and then wipe it away it looks fine but I can't do like a five minute bake otherwise it looks horrible. <laughs> Let's scoot to concealer. There really isn't too much here either. I still have my two shades of my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in here. I am still testing out the quick crease tool that I did a video on a little while ago. I'll throw that up in the cards if you do want to see it. But I am using that to test out still a cut crease and also to see if I can use that to help me with my halo eyes because I'm really not great at doing halo eyes and I'm trying to get a little bit better at that. So I have a white shade and then I also have the shade Illustrate which is a little bit closer to my skin tone. Next, I have my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey, and since I'm trying to pan this, I've been using this every day to prime my eyes, and look, you can actually see, like, the, the tube. It actually got to the point where I removed the stopper out of this so I could get more product out, so we're almost there. I really think I can finish this up by the end of this month. Last but not least, let's move over to primers. So I thought I would be done with this deluxe size by now, but it's holding strong. <laughs> This is the Becca Backlit Priming Filter, and it's almost empty, just not quite. I feel like I've got like a couple more uses in here before I cut the tube open to make sure it is empty. Yeah, it'll be it'll be out by the next month for sure. Of course, my favorite mattifying primer is still here. This is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with acne with anti acne treatment, and this just does everything I need. I can't wear this with too matte of a foundation though, so I'm a little bit worried about testing this with that Juvia's Place foundation, but I do want to test it out just to see how it works. Another primer I'm actually pretty close to panning. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Pore Minimizing. So it's just a, a nice pore minimizing primer that I use just around my nose where my pores are pretty big. So I don't use this all over my face, so it is taking a bit to pan it, but it is almost empty. It's getting a little bit harder to get product out. So within a week or so, I'll probably cut this open to see really how much there's left and finish it up. Here we have a primer that I actually totally forgot I had until I was looking in my primer drawer for matte primers. This is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. And I think I got this when it was still like the winter, so I didn't want to touch a mattifying primer with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> 
but now that I need it, hell yeah, I'm bringing it out. <laughs> so I haven't actually used this yet. Um, I don't know if I ever really used it, so I still gotta get my thoughts around this. Let's just quickly talk about the samples I've picked out for the next couple of weeks. So the first two samples I have, I have a sample, the Benefit Cabrow Cream Gel Brow Color, and also this is a little packet of a uh, Chantecaille Rose de Mai Eye Lip, so it's an eye cream from Chantecaille. I have a little sample of the Benefit High Beam Liquid Highlighter. I rarely reach for liquid highlighters, especially when like it's hot. So I, I think this is something I either need to declutter or put back into my collection to use when it's colder again and I'm looking for a liquid highlighter to mix in with my foundation. But this has been sitting in my drawer for a while and I haven't reached for it, so yeah, I'll make a decision this month. Next, I have a sample I've already tried, the Youth to the People Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Moisture Cream. It's a good moisturizer. They're just pretty small packets, so you can't get a whole lot of use out of them. And then I have from Dior, the Dream Skin Advanced Anti-Aging it's a blah 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 skin cream. It's a, it's a cream. <laughs> I don't think this is a foundation. At least I don't believe it is. Uh, we will find out when I open it. I probably could pick some more products and probably will throughout the month, but those are just the ones that I just want to start with and keep working through my basket because I still have a full basket of samples. Thank you guys so much for watching this makeup basket. Let me know down below what you're going to be using for this month and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.